British Foreign Minister William Hague arrived in Morocco on Monday after a short visit to Libya, during which he concealed neighboring countries against providing refugee to Muammar al-Qaddafi or any of his supporters who have been arraigned by the International Criminal Court. Speaking later at a news conference in Rabat, after talks with Moroccan Foreign Minister Tayyip Fassi Fahri, Hague welcomed constitutional reforms taking place in the Northern African Kingdom. He said the Arab Spring uprising had increased the importance of resolving long disputes over the status of Western Sahara. We see this as an exciting time, an extremely positive time uh, across the Arab world uh, in different ways, in different countries. Uh, but we want to strengthen our partnership with and our support for Morocco uh, at this time. Uh, we also discuss the importance of regional integration, uh, which could deliver great benefits across this region. While Haig was in Libya, he met with the National Transitional Council Chairman Mustafa Abdel Jalil in Tripoli on Monday, after attending a ceremony to re-establish British diplomatic presence in Libya. Haig told journalists that his country would release the remaining Libyan banknotes held since the beginning of the revolution. An estimate of $150 billion in sovereign assets was controlled by Qaddafi and his inner circle was frozen abroad by foreign governments. And 144 tons of gold is being held by the Libyan Central Bank. Ikram Al-Arabi.